so the festival begins uh -huh. and the deformed kid watches and in the trailers they kept hyping up this kid i thought it was gonna be a bigger part it's oh not. yeah there wasn't much there's a reason for him yeah. but uh yes and this is another hint that something evil's happening a red-headed devil takes note of christian <sighs> she kicks him as she's going in the thing don't trust her don't Never trust a redhead don't trust him don't, don't trust, trust him. a redhead yeah she didn't know what single white female was. I didn't. I made I didn't that joke the, yeah. episodes ago with you guys and yeah. it went over her head. She pretended it to know. Mm, well, maybe it just wasn't funny. It's time to hack the movies. Hey guys, it's been pointed out many times on this show that I'm no spring chicken and I'm getting older. And with age comes hair loss. Do you need help with hair loss? How about one with proven results within six months and 24 seven expert support? Then Keeps is for you. No need to visit a doctor or a pharmacy in person. These plans are doctor recommended and get dropped off right to you. Each plan gives you a year of unlimited 24 seven messaging with a prescribing doctor. You can also talk to a network of specialists to help you reach your hair goals. You can prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just make sure your hair is better taken care of. Keeps also has an award-winning natural thickening shampoo and conditioner. Whatever your hair needs, you'll get delivered right to your door. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash hack the movies or click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash hack the movies. Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here with Johanna and Crystal. Hello, ladies. Hello. That was creepy. <laughs> uh, we love welcome to Hack the Movies. Uh, if you're new here, please uh, give us a like and subscribe, and check out our shows every Monday and Thursday, premiering at 3 p.m. Today we're talking Eastern about Eastern time. Eastern uh, time. Yeah. Today we're talking about a uh, very special movie. Johanna, you picked this movie mm -hmm. for this day. Why? It's my birthday. Yay! Happy birthday! <laughs> She's finally over the hill. The big Get four. Up. Up. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Just because you're 70 years old. <laughs> you look great for 70 because I thought you were 85. You shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> Sorry. The butt, the the tail on my suit, my bear suit we'll is chop poked. it off. Can no, you show no. everyone your little, your little... Well, no. I'll, 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 we'll take a picture. I'll take okay. a picture of it. Don't worry. It's adorable. Put, put it right here. <laughs> and disturbing. I've never seen something so adorable and disturbing in my life. Anyway, you picked Midsommar mm -hmm. from director Ari Oster. Ari Oster? Mm -hmm. Aster. Yeah. Oster? Aster. That's Aster. Yeah. Aster. Aster. Oster? Aster? <laughs> Double A. <laughs> um, an up and coming uh, horror director. He's up really and coming? I think yeah, it's pretty established. Well, that? now he, he's he's relatively new to the horror scene. Okay. Uh, he knocked it out of the park with Hereditary. Yeah. I actually reviewed that with uh, James from Cinemask Earth on the 2019 Monster Madness. Mm. We did uh, Hereditary. Have any of you seen his short film? No. You no. didn't check it out. Oh, I think it's the strange thing about the Johnsons. Uh, I can't. I can't even tell you what it's about. It, the, the subject matter is so dark. I can't tell you what the movie's about. But it's free on YouTube last time I, I checked. I cannot wait to watch that it. That was his, like... If uh, it, you can't discuss it, that means I want to watch it. That was, like, his thesis film for, like, whatever film school he went to. And it's very disturbing. <laughs> uh, yes. So, Midsommar came out in 2019. Yep. I remember 4th of July weekend, I had a choice between seeing Spider-Man Far From Home and Midsommar. And I was like, I'll see Spider-Man later. I'm like, I need to wow. see this movie. Uh, yeah, I remember when the trailers came out for this, whatever, because like it's definitely shown to be something disturbing and creepy, whatever. Yeah. But everything's so bright and colorful, and there's just flowers well, I and did, just. I was all in on this one. Like this, Hereditary snuck up on me. I think I mentioned that episode. James hyped it up for me. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, let me check it out, and it terrified me more than anything I've seen in a while. Yeah. It's funny uh, how dark that movie. Not like I mean, yeah. obviously, like it's dark, but like dark and actual, like it's. Yeah. Dark color, movie. yeah, so I was yeah. excited for this one. Um, I don't think it's anywhere near as scary as Hereditary. It's a different type of fear, but yeah. it's very dark and twisted. It's yeah. like almost yeah. a dark comedy. It's got some weird irony to it. Mm. Well, apparently in Sweden, it's like a black comedy to them. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because they say it's so ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, and this was one of 
the best theater experiences of my life. Yeah. It was not a very full theater. There were many, many different reactions. I'll talk about some of the reactions as we go through it. But I want to say at the end of the movie, we sat next to like an older lady who was there by herself. She looked like she had been a hippie okay. most of her life. Oh, very no. elderly. Not elderly, but like, I don't want to say like 60s, maybe. Okay. So the movie ends, the lights come on, and she like leans over to us. And she's just like, that wasn't anything like I thought it would be. So I wonder if she was just lonely on 4th of July weekend. She sees a movie oh, with no. some broads with flowers in their hair. Like, that reminds me of the 60s. And then let me go see this movie oh, about no. all these young. And then she sees the most horrifying thing ever. I can see Kudos that. to her. She sat through the whole movie. I'm like, did you see the guy's other movie? She's like, no. I didn't know what this was. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. That's exactly. She's like, oh, I know what Midsummer is and Midsummer oh, Night's Dream. Why is the girl crying on the poster? Flower crowns. <laughs> Oops. Um, but yeah, I'll go into some more of the stuff. I like want this, like watch this every midsummer now. Like I don't want this to be like a rich. <laughs> so, can we do that? Can I, we do I don't know anything about yes, the. Thank you. Do you want, do, before we get into the movie, what, get what, high what, as heck, dance around the maypole. No, no we gotta do. Uh, we gotta do a fire. shit ton of mushrooms. So obviously, this is like a whole. This movie version is like a made-up, exaggerated version. Oh. But what? What is yeah. the midsummer thing? Like, I don't care about stupid European stuff. Well, it's what is it? Your, it's so many different cultures. Celebrate is it from different. Italy? Don't care. Keep going. I'm what sure is it? there has been culture in Italy that has celebrated. It's celebrating basically summer solstice. You're celebrating the sun saying, you know, um, hoping to like kind of have the sun give more energy. So you have the best kind of harvest coming up. A lot of summer solstice and winter solstice is a lot of um, acknowledging the sun and being grateful for the sun because summer winter solstice is when the sun starts coming back, where the days start to come longer, and you're saying and the sun never goes away, back. it's in the center of the solar system and never moves. Longer days where it's more, it's it's helping us grow more crops because in yeah. the winter you don't get much crops, even if yeah. the fucking sun is in the middle of our goddamn solar system. Yeah, because then the Earth moves and it's just yeah, really... I know how that it's on an axis. Yeah, yeah, the Earth. Those moves are like all. This. These are all facts. Get it? Yeah, all, yeah duh. <laughs> These are all facts. Nah, it sounds, sounds like some hippie bullshit to me. Uh, but, but the pagans, uh, a lot of pagans uh, rituals have been around uh, the celebration of uh, Litha, I believe it's. I don't know how to pronounce it. I could be totally pronounce it wrong. L-I-T-H-A. Okay. And it's basically the pagan kind of celebration of a summer solstice where you're honoring different types of goddesses and gods. And I think it's the marriage between the sun gods. Uh, uh, don't agree with any of that uh, heresy. Um, yeah, it's not like you know some people stole things from pagans and decided to make it their own thing. Nah, and, that's a lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Um. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, it's basically being grateful for the earth and the sun, and you get to jump over bonfires. Yeah. What has the earth ever done for you? Drink a lot. Oh, the plants are blooming. It's like, yeah, it makes me sneeze. Fuck them. What that sounds this, like a you problem. What has yeah, the sun ever done for you? Problem. Oh, I'm gonna go out in the sun. Oh, I'm burnt. Yo, gives me that D, that vitamin D, vitamin D. <laughs> Happy birthday, Johanna. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yes, uh, when did you see this film? Did you see it in theaters? I saw it in theaters. How was your theater experience? Uh, the theater was packed. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's also a smaller theater. Oh. So. Oh. Yeah. When did you see this? Today, in my car. I'm shocked you didn't see this. I think we uh, yes, had a fight about this did, before. Because you showed me your purse, which I'm obsessed with. You guys fought? Yes. But out of love. Oh, it was we, like a we were naked fight. and jello. Ew, you know? stop, ew. <laughs> There's pillow fights and you know. No, I was thinking of like like world star hip hop. Like you, you, the earrings are being ripped out. World star. And we're hitting Woo! each other with the shovels. I didn't mean a sexy fight. <laughs> I, I saw that. Have you seen that video? The girl get knocked out with a shovel? Did that girl die? <gasps> no. no, she's okay. She got fucked up. Yeah. No, yeah. I'll watch that. Oh, you never saw a shovel girl? No. Oh, man. Oh, I wish we could mm. Photoshop shovel girl into this movie <laughs> during the one scene <laughs> anyway. Jesus. So. But yeah, I saw it today and um, I'm very upset that I did not see it sooner. This has uh, been entered into the uh, Good For Her expanded universe along with Knives Out and what was the other one? Um, Ready or Not, which I still haven't yeah. seen. Uh, and a couple other ones. Uh, yeah, and I... It's not a good for her as much because you see like, there's also well, females that are sacrificed. 
we'll, we'll get into we'll, it. We'll, we'll yeah. Get into it. <laughs> so let's get into this film. Um, it opens up with a beautiful tapestry that tells you the whole plot. Yep. You literally you literally the whole thing. You just walk yeah, out right yeah. there. Just walk, oh, yeah, I get it. And then you just walk out. The sun creeps me out. <laughs> huh? The sun. With the face in it? Yeah. And was, creeps yeah. me out. Uh, I've seen pictures before of like suns with faces in it. I'm like, no, I don't like it. It's like the Teletubbies. I was just going to say Teletubbies. <laughs> uh, nah, what is it? What movie did had that? Were the like the clouds? Well, we uh, we reviewed it recently. Oh, Van Helsing, there were faces in the clouds. Was it Van Helsing? Yeah. It was Van Helsing. Kate back and well, I like how yeah, I keep it. forgetting Van Helsing. This is the second time I was like, you know that <laughs> movie? Uh, oh, yeah, it's Van Helsing. Again. So uh, we meet Danny Florence Pugh. So hot. Yes. So hot. But I was already really yes. into I liked her in, um, we, I think we mentioned before, I liked her in Fighting With My Family, the, pa- the movie about Paige. She was good in The Outlaw King with Christopher Pine. Uh, that was a really good movie. Oh, I didn't see that. Christopher Pine? Chris Pine. There you go. I guess his full name yeah, is Christopher. Yeah, Christopher. Who has ever called him Christopher Pine? I know. I don't Pine. know why I did that. He's um, being very like, uh, political, <laughs> very like gentleman over there. Called uh, she Sorry, was also, I, I just remembered, uh, what is that girl who had the baby with the guy who like loved his wife, but then he left his wife, the comedian guy? Um, oh, John Mulaney. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> who's, who's with... What what is her name? Olivia Munn. Yeah. Um, did you ever see oh. the leaked like sex messages? Basically, she sent to Chris Pine. No. <laughs> oh, I want to see that. I can't even talk about it on air because that's how bad that. Like it's like. Yeah, and I was just like, damn, she's dirty. <laughs> Good for Chris Pine. So look, many for, look that up. It's look really up. funny. Unless you're underage, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it opens up with Florence Pugh, Danny. Uh, she can't get her parents to answer the phone. She's worried about her sister because her sister sent her cryptic messages because mm-hmm. women love to do that. I don't think it was very cryptic. It and was pretty don't straightforward. Think it was just a woman thing. She clearly, clearly was going through a mental breakdown. Yeah, she's bipolar. She's also bipolar. I don't know. I've so seen she has some like issues. That before. Uh, and the, it, the, the, I can't anymore. Mom and dad are coming too. People send you messages the like mom that. Mom and dad are coming with me. That was a new one for me. But I agree with the characters in the film because she starts like, you know, she calls her boyfriend because, of course, it has to be her boyfriend's problem. He's trying to live his life. And she's like, I'm having a bad night. He's out with his friends. Why should he deserve to have a good night? Fighting words over here. (laughs) I'm feeling sad. And why he's single? There's so many fucking reasons. I'm feeling sad and he's out there maybe not being sad. Well, I got to call him and tell him about. Hey, how about you support your girlfriend? And if you don't want to support her, then break up with her. Well, that's been dating that... for four fucking years. Yeah, I related to the guy in this. Uh... <laughs> that's fucked up. This reminds me. This reminds me of an ex. Uh, one, not the one that didn't like you. The other one who didn't like you. Which one? <laughs> like that's <laughs> damn. Cut the name out. <laughs> uh, ah. So yeah, I did have a girlfriend who was. I con- forgot she existed. Yeah. Uh, it like every week there was some crisis or drama happening. And then a friend of mine was like home from college and I'm like, cool, we haven't hung out in forever. And like, I'm on the way to drive there. And then she called to yell at me because she fought with her alcoholic mom. And I'm like, all right, well that sucks. Got to go hang out with my good friend, Kyle. And she's like, you're a bad boyfriend. You don't care. Blah, blah. So I had to pick her up and she had to hang out with me and my friend Kyle while she sat there being all sad and killed the mood. So yeah, I really relate to Christian. So yeah, he's uh, hanging out with his friends and she just won't let him have a good time. She's like, I gotta tell you about my sister. And he's like, all right, she does this all the time. Okay. Uh, but yeah, her, um, what you call it? Uh, she calls her friend. Who is that friend? We never hear yeah, from that friend see, again. Yeah, we never see, yeah. That's a bad friend. Yeah. Boyfriend's bad, friend's bad. I think she's gotta get better people in her life, to be honest. She needs to be not surrounded by toxic people. Yeah, but I do like that she's admitting that she is the problem because that's rare to see. She's like, she's oh. also on like some type of antidepressant or something. Yeah, too. she's yeah. like, I'm always bothering him with my stuff, and is it too much? And it's too much. Um, he does when he's on the phone. He tries to calm her down. He forgets to tell her to smile. That might have actually helped. Oh my god, that would have definitely worked. You know, yeah, she should totally smile more. <laughs> so, so a few weeks ago, yeah. Johanna was feeling well. Did he also say well. tell her to relax too? <laughs> yeah. If you tell a female to relax and to smile more, it goes over really well. So Johanna wasn't feeling good a few weeks ago. I'm like, what's wrong? She's like, yeah, I just don't feel good. I'm like, have you tried smiling? Anyway, also, it didn't work, alive. Did it? how is he alive? <laughs> I'm gonna set him on fire later. It's fine. Anyway, um, oh, you're doing Mark, what? Later? What? Okay. 
<laughs> Mark, his friend, uh, Will Poulter. Oh, yes. Is Poulter? Is that Douche. his? Yeah. He's literally the worst. There he is in the background being all like, oh, hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. Mm. And then the moment they, they hang up or whatever, he's like, oh, God, you got to break up with her. You could have getting that girl pregnant and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, mm. oh, my God. You want him to be. Same, same girl I was talking about earlier. My friends at the time were like, dude, you really need to get rid of this. Okay, girl. but were they acting fake, trying to act like, oh, no. best no. friends? So yeah. No, they would try to talk to her and she would be real weird around them. And they're like, we're not talking to your girlfriend anymore. <laughs> I'm like, I don't blame you. <laughs> to be honest, I was actually on his side in the very beginning because she did seem like, oh, that kind of girl that does call every two seconds yeah. when there's an issue. And, and I, I like, do. There is like a, a line where you're like, okay, you can't put all your issues on someone else. You kind of have to like deal yeah. with it yourself. But and I, I do feel kind of bad for the whole like he's ready to break up and then what's about to happen. He's like, well, I can't do it now. Apparently he was wanting that to break up for a year. me a few years year. back. Yeah. He wanted to get out of the relationship for over a year. And it's yeah. just, yeah. just break up with her. A few years back, I was point. ready to pull the trigger on a relationship. But then the girlfriend was like, so our anniversary's next week. What are we going to do? I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, uh, I break guess up. I, I guess I got to milk this for another month. It's going to be awkward if I did it now. No, that would have probably been the best anniversary present to her ever. No, it was not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was a problem. Babe. Oh. The boyfriend, this is all another thing. The boyfriend apparently is focused on the relationship to distract himself from like this thesis that he's supposed to be yeah. working on. And this friend, Josh, I think mm -hmm. calls him out on it. So yeah, she does call him back then. And like, it's the worst pot. It's very, it's a Seinfeld moment. Um, it's the worst possible thing that oh ever could happen. Her sister murder suicided her and her parents by duct taping hoses to a car and putting the exhaust, stop hitting that goddamn like, <laughs> and putting the exhaust in the house. I don't know how the parents didn't hear like 10 rolls of duct tape being shredded. Yeah. But <laughs> unless she like knocked them out. I was curious how she did that, yeah. Yeah. Did you notice? I don't know why she picks such a violent way. Like it's no, not violent. That's not I guess because that's probably like the best way to go. Yeah. But if they had woken up, that would have been a problem. Well, yeah. Um, did you notice though, um, when uh, Danny first calls them, you can still see them breathing? Yeah, they're like slowly dead. Yeah. You're supposed you to can think they're just see, sleeping. Yeah. yeah, that's what, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's really sad. It's, it's, that's ooh. super sad. I kind of do want to cut this into Seinfeld now. There's an episode where George, like the girl's like, I got to answer the phone. He's like, oh, come on. Who could it possibly be? No, it's going to be no one. No one's going to die or anything if you don't answer the phone. And then it turns out someone died. And George is like, yeah, I guess I was wrong. Anyway, yes, it's horrifying with like the, the firefighter. Like any that other movie would have so just told sad. you it happened. Yeah, no, they actually or, like, or it showed you a little bit. But like Ari, he really wants to. He wants those images to stick. Yeah, but sometimes he'll make it like he did this with Hereditary where you hear the girl die. You know what happened. You hear yeah, no, he action. wanted to make you see it, and it's yeah. horrifying seeing you, that so sister. It tricks yeah. you into thinking you're not going to see it. Same with this. It's like, oh, they're not really going to show the body. Like, no, here she is. She's vomiting up. Yeah, and... it's vomiting. Her like one eye is like blue. Yeah, yeah, it's all fucking gross. What a weird way to kill yourself. That is a very... But what's interesting... I've heard of the car in the garage. I just never heard of this elaborate of a setup. <laughs> but this... Danny never sees it, but she has flashbacks to it. She might she, have had to have seen. Yeah, I was going to say, so she didn't obviously see with the uh, duct tape or whatever, but I'm pretty sure she probably had to identify bodies. Yeah, yeah but the flashbacks so, are of like, she just because she, she could probably just yeah, imagine uh, what yeah, happened. Yeah, think it's about what easy. it looked yeah. like. Yeah. All right. I don't know. Uh, if you were like, hey, just this is what happened. I'd be like, I don't even know how to imagine yeah. that scene. I and, have no idea. And the boyfriend's sitting there while she's crying. This reminds me of Curve Your Enthusiasm. When Larry David really wants to break up with Viv Vivica A. Fox before her cancer diagnosis comes in, <laughs> and then oh he God. isn't able to do it. So the doctor's like, she has cancer and he collapses. And the doctor thinks it's because she, ha she has cancer, but it's because he can't get out of the relationship. Oh <laughs> That's God. how I felt. I'm just like, oh, that poor guy, he's not getting out of this one. He's stuck for a while. <laughs> uh, yeah. God, that is the most important thing, huh? Yes. So later on, this is flashing ahead a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, because it was uh, uh, winter. And yes. And fast forwards to, yeah, I'm, like, I'm assuming like spring, yeah, maybe spring. early summer. Yeah. yeah, I think it would be spring. Uh, Danny just decides to invite herself to the goddamn she suite. She did right? it. Someone did not watch this. How, how does this scene go? They're talking at the party. And what was it? Josh, Mark, and uh, Pele. Yeah. Both were, or both, all three of them were saying that, you know, 
they're going to Sweden, whatever, because it's Pele's uh, commune or whatever. Mm. They're going to go visit that. And Danny was like, wait, what? Because, you know, he never talked to her. No, Christian. I didn't tell you about the, the, the Sweden trip. My bad. Yeah. So, he I, said how. I, I like how you just kept going like, oh, we're thinking about it. Yeah, so he's, he's like, even though I, it's I like set you. and done. Yeah. yeah, he's like, I yeah, I told you so many times I want to go to Sweden. I told you I want to go in two yeah. weeks when you've already had the plane ticket. And you yeah, you need to, to plan that now. out. Well, what what did he say? And he was gaslighting the shit out of her during that conversation oh by when God. it was just the two of them it or whatever. He's, he's gross. He's so gross uh, because he's saying, know. oh, what? I can't go. I can't go. It's only a month and a half. And why are you so sad? He made her feel like and well, all of a sudden she's yeah, apologizing yeah and then she's like I'm oh so sorry. yeah well I'm he's so sorry. been manipulated into not celebrating his independence by her <laughs> what <laughs> it made are you sense. high what? it made sense in my head did if you you're watching this did like... I, you agree with me right christian did nothing wrong anyway uh Ooh, okay. yeah it's surprising but he basically right. like kind of invites her he Straight up invites her thinking she's not going to go. And he even says he to the friends it. like, oh, like I invited her to go, but she's not going to go. Oh, yeah. And he's so she sure going. she won't show up. It's like, she's not going to actually go to Sweden. She's not going to do that. Uh, But yeah, she um, she has like a moment with Pelly yeah. while the other yeah. guys are out. Uh, and he's very excited for her to come to Sweden. I like him a lot. Okay. Uh, I don't know if the accent. That's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, but it's, it's hard. I'll, I'll get into it later when they have that other moment together, yeah. or whatever, why I do like him, but also, I like, like him. it. Well, well, I'll yeah. talk about it later. But he, like, tries to relate to her, and it's like, dude, don't bring it up, you asshole. And he's like, hey, sorry your parents died. My parents also died. I lost my parents too, so I kind of have some idea. And she's like, yeah, don't want to talk about it. Don't want to talk about it. I do love the scene change. The transition goes, yeah. was perfect. So perfect transition. So not only did she force herself on the trip, she takes the window seat for the trip she wasn't even supposed to be on. That's rude. Now, if you're you're inviting yourself to someone else's trip, you're aisle. Sorry. We can all agree with that. So yeah. The uh let's see here. Uh so they in Sweden now, it's Swedish. That's one of my notes. I've never been to Sweden. <laughs> Have you guys? No. no, I would like to. Uh, Yes, and they finally get to the festival after like a four hour drive. Did you notice um, after they do that flip with the uh, sign, it basically says like, keep Sweden Swedish, basically keep Sweden white. What? Oh, is that one? Yeah, the sign. It's like stop, like stop immigration, basically. <gasps> yeah. Oh shit, uh, yeah. I did not see that. Cancel this movie. Um, I mean, look at the. Never mind. We'll <laughs> so uh, it turns out these uh, this commune really loves to bring outside people in. Yeah, we never find out what happens to a lot of the other outside people who are sprinkled into the scene. I think you no, can... it was just them. Yeah. No, no, no. There's other people that they show in like plain clothes. That's the people coming back. Yeah, they're coming back. Oh, that's yeah. the same thing as the one guy that brought them. It was, there was only two people that brought outside visitors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I thought the same too, whatever. But then if you like pay attention, like they're all they're hugging and they're kissing. Yeah. They're like, oh, uh, so happy to see you. So as soon as they get there, they decide to trip balls. Yeah, and then Danny go. doesn't want to do it. Yeah, she says, everybody else, you can do it, whatever. And then Christian's and then, like, oh, well, I'm going to stay with you then. And she's like, no, you can do it. And then basically it feels bad because he's being a dick. And then she goes and takes the freaking mushroom tea. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, has a bad trip. <laughs> yeah. She, yeah. She trips pretty bad. She sees yeah. her sister, right? Um... She hears her sister singing. Danny? Sorry. But she also, the grass coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Little... Yeah, I like the a... tree looks like water. I like the visuals here. But also they have the whole group of girls, like or a whole group of people in a circle, and they're laughing, and she's yeah. like, they're laughing at me. So she's just I like the, what is it, the Mark character. I was going like, to say. Lay down. Yeah. Why are you laying down? Everyone lay down. Everyone lay down. He's literally freaking out, even though he was like, oh, I want to trip so bad. No Ugh. new people. No new people. <laughs> I'm like, yes, asshole. So when they get to the. Uh, Have you guys ever done mushroom? No. Really? I don't do drugs. I love Jesus. <laughs> you love him so much. When's his birthday? December. Wrong. 20. <laughs> That's. 
That's the that's the day we acknowledge as his birthday. Mm -hmm. You want to know why? Because he likes December. He loves the no. snow. No. I read the Bible. He said, I love skiing. <laughs> In the Alps. The yes. snow through my short yes. blonde hair feels yes. so short very good. Yes. Sometimes I have to wear protective goggles for my bright blue eyes. Oh That's, my I've, God. I've only read one Bible. I think it's homemade. I don't know how accurate it is. <laughs> what? Anyway, um, there's a really good early sign that the village is kind of fucking. There, there, there's something shady there. Uh, the one guy is wearing like a weird priest outfit. The yeah. frock. Yes, and he's explaining, it's like, yes, it uh, symbolizes nature's hermaphroditic, like, traits or qualities or whatnot, uh, and it's, like, something about the gods, and then yeah. the one dude, who is it, Josh, he's like, oh, it reminds me of this other people who do this, and the yeah. guy just stares at him, yeah, and then switches the subject, like, yeah. he's just like, oh, That fuck. was rude, though, like, he's, Josh, what the fuck? And he's yeah. basically just like, don't fucking bring those people up, this is, this is my thing, this is real. <laughs> yeah, like, this is my culture. Like, I don't care about these other people. This is what I do. He's not even just like, oh, really, do they? He's just like, I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. Anyway. Because it was rude. It was. Yeah. All the friends, like, you really learn to dislike them. Yeah. Which is actually another thing about this movie. Like, you kind of don't feel as bad, at least for those couple people. I mean, Christian, of course, I sympathize with. But the rest, yeah, I can take him or leave him. <laughs> Josh um, is just a fucking dickhead trying to expose all of them. The entire movie. So the festival begins. Uh -huh. And the deformed kid watches. And in the trailers, they kept hyping up this kid. I thought it was going to be a bigger part. Oh, uh, there wasn't much. There's a reason for him. Yeah. But uh, yes. And this is another hint that something evil's happening. A redheaded devil takes note of Christian. <sighs> she yeah, kicks him as she's that. going in the thing. Don't trust her. Don't. Never trust a redhead. Don't trust him. Don't, Don't trust, trust him. a redhead. Yeah. She didn't know what single white female was. I didn't. I made I didn't that joke the, yeah. episodes ago with you guys and yeah. it went over her head. She pretended to know. Mm, well, maybe it just wasn't funny. Now there's a single black female. It was on Lifetime. I got to watch it. I want to see if it's as good as single oh white female. Oh my God. You guys got to do single white female. It'll be pretty good. Anyway. Yeah. The redhead girl. She's we just like. The same outfits and yes. like, wait, what? <laughs> and <laughs> show a video of me like in your closet, like going through all your stuff. And it's just like, yes, this is the one. Let's do it. I'm, I'm shocked you haven't seen it. You would love that movie. Anyway. I like how you think you know what I like. No, I can see you watching <laughs> this movie being like, yeah, I like this movie. <laughs> oh, Christian uh, forgets how long he's been dating Danny. Happens to all of us. Just over three and a half years. Four years. Um, or that their anniversary was coming up. Or... Yeah, because the, the other two, uh, was it Simon and Connie, whatever, both are saying that like, they're engaged and they're being cute and holding hands and stuff or whatever, yeah. and Christian's just oh. being a piece of shit. Well, he wants I nothing think, to do with her. I mean, Simon and Connie, they did cuck that one guy. Because he's like, yeah, I actually used to date Connie. Yeah, She's they went on one date and she didn't even know it was a date. I yeah. love that him bringing them there is just... That just was a whole yeah, fuck them. you to them. That was actually kind of It's like, great. dude, just... You could, you're you're at university. You can find another girl. Like, come on, it's it's real easy. Like, come on, dude. You got that accent. You're, you're you're thin. You can you have an accent. You can find yeah. Go to America. That's the problem. He's yeah, in, he's yeah, in, yeah. Go to America. He's in England. They're used to the the dumb accents. Go to America. That it'll, it'll be sexy over here. Even though he'll probably be like a weird weird weirdo over there. We have plenty of weirdos over here, and they get laid, which is shocking. So he'll be fine. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> no, he's a born again virgin. Remember? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Shame on me. Ugh. Do you guys want to talk about the bear? It's a bear. Yeah, it's a bear. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. move on. Then uh, next to the bear, there mm -hmm. is another tapestry that's foreshadowing the worst part of the movie. <laughs> that Best you say is the, the worst part. I hate that part of the movie. It's a that's foreshadowing. The worst it's foreshadowing the love spell that's that a redheaded devil is going to use later. And we cannot show that tapestry. And as soon as I saw the tapestry in the theater, I went, no, 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 because I knew where it was going. Yeah, it's weird they spelled it out like that, but I mean, and it worked. Look at the beginning of the movie. It worked. Yes. It worked. <laughs> um, what I like is, uh, so sometimes they subtitle the Swedes and sometimes they don't. Yeah, there's a reason. And I like when they, uh, the one girl comes, she's like, we're going to watch Austin Powers on the DVD play. Yeah. <laughs> like, really? Well, I, that was actually shocking when I, I was like, oh, that's a culture shock, like thrown in there. It's Austin Powers? Like, you, you haven't updated it in a while? But you're also having the kids watch it? 
Would be wrong. I love Austin Powers. Well, like I love a, Austin Powers. Yeah, but I would think there would be a better like movie for kids to watch. I guess yeah. not. Yeah, it's a fun movie. I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. But you uh, know the reason why they do some Sweden, some like some si subtitled and some not, right? Explain. To isolate the audience a little yep. bit more, to make them feel a little bit more left out, and put your yourself, the audience, in the roles of the Americans or the outsiders. And you would literally think that they're trying to like hide what's being said. Literally, if you translate it, there's like nothing hidden there at all. It's just basically yeah. like, hello, welcome to the commune. Okay, like here's our festival. Yeah. Like that's literally it. I knew that. But since I respect you ladies so much, like Christian respects Danny, I let you guys Oh yeah, he that. respects oh, her so yeah. much that while she's looking at the May Queen stuff, Pele had to talk to Christian to be like, yo, it's her birthday, bro. Yeah. He's overwhelmed by, he cares about other cultures and stuff and it slipped his mind. Things that it's her birthday? Yes. When she said it a thousand times? First, he well, doesn't. She probably We've also been dating it. for four years. Yeah. First, I, he forgets that anniversary. He doesn't remember her birthday. He's a terrible person. He's a terrible boyfriend. I forget your birthday every year. I don't even know your birthday. And birthdays. I remember his birthday. That's why it's Talk birthday. Like a Pirate it's Day. September 19th. Oh, shit. Talk Like a Pirate Day. And Jeremy Irons' birthday and Adam West's birthday. And we were all in Batman I will movies. remember that day for Adam West and Talk Like a Pirate. Mine's remember, remember the 5th of November. And today, when this airs, is this queen's birthday. So. Happy birthday. Why are you shaking? Stop <laughs> yeah, it's a birthday. Sweater me, Pete. Okay. Birthday. <laughs> birthday. We, we recently got a design. We have to rework it. Yeah. Mint, Mint had a little too much fun. So they mentioned the Astupa. Astupa? Astupa. Oh, my God. Will happen the next day. One one guy, Josh, uh, Josh is very excited Because he was like, it. really? Yeah. That's what you're doing? Oh, I'd be out. And then, if I knew what it was, I'd be like, whoa. whoa, whoa. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know how, I, if I knew what that was, if I'd watch yeah, it. Yeah, but also he's a piece of shit and doesn't tell his friends what it is. Oh, yeah, he didn't uh, think about You know that. what, you know what, no, 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 no. That is shitty. No, 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 now I'm on board with him. That's pretty <gasps> funny. Like, oh, these motherfuckers, That's they don't funny. know what's gonna happen. <laughs> okay, so this ties no. back into the theater experience I had. So, uh, it was it was me, my ex, and the the hippie. We were the only white people in the theater. Uh, <laughs> there were I want to say four black people in the theater, and after this scene, there were only two. Uh, <laughs> when the old people came out and started breathing re real weird <gasps> and like into their mouths and doing the weird ceremony, <laughs> this couple just went. They just got up and they fucking never like they were literally like. Like they've had enough of this white people shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> they left the fucking movie yeah. and, they, and we just started fucking laughing so hard. <laughs> but yeah, there's two elderly people there, and everyone's making a big deal about them. They came from inside the temple. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. And then after See the dinner, the um older woman seems upset though too. Like you could tell, like yeah, her eyes yeah. are red yeah, and teary. Yeah, you could tell yeah. that. Like I. You kind of knew that what was about to happen. Something's about to happen. And what happens is the at Asta Stupa. Asta Stupa. I don't get the letters with the weird dots on top of them. Um, wow, that's what? not like racist or anything. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think that's racist. So the the rock jumping scene. Um, but what do you think of all the runes? The runes are everywhere. Yes, there are runes everywhere. I like when she cuts herself. They both like, do it. Yes, uh, which was like in all the trailers and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I like the moment. They, they, they build up the tension so well. It distracts from the fact that, that Cliff looks really CGI. Um, the girl goes up to the end. She's doing all the poses. And why does she look at Danny? He's no, like, she looks down. Yeah. But you see like everyone's like real tense. Like what? Like the people who don't know, they're like, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. What, what's, what's happening? And what's then happening? Danny realizes and grabs Christian's. Uh, well, 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 that's the thing. That's the thing. And then she stops posing. And they're like, uh, but then, then you see her reaction. It's like, oh, we are. She is going to jump. Yeah. <laughs> she fucking falls. And of course they have to show the oh, face the split face. open. Oh, the face. Right they, when it hits the rock. Oh, it was beautiful. Oh, it was brutal. It, it was, was beautiful. It was brutal. Um, it was a great effect holy yeah. shit yes. they, they made an animatronic for the man 
Yeah. To show it collapsing in on itself or whatever. Because remember later, oh, the one yeah. scene when she, uh, Danny has like a dream, you see it like snap back together and stuff. Yeah. It was yeah. for that. Oh, yeah, awesome. I thought they I just, re- just reversed the footage. Oh, that's cool. That's why yeah. I would. Yeah, uh, I liked. Uh, yeah, the the man falls off. Why would he jump like that? You would think after he so many little, years he, he, of he got a, he got a little fancy with it. Like no, 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 no. No, you don't jump like that. No, 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 no. You got one shot at this. You aim for the he rock that'll fucked kill you. It up. He he he, he thought about it, it too so much. He just jumped legs he first. Jumped. Yeah, I he would jump with my head first. Yeah, he he overthought it. Hit the rock. He was like, he was like, I'm, I'm gonna really. What are show they? Eighty? Them. Was it seventy or what 75, was the age? Five, I think. Something like that. Seventy five. That's the age of the new Leatherface in the new Texas Chainsaw movie. They should be running around and bench pressing things. Yeah, you, you have to five that. more years until you have to jump off the cliff. Yeah, yeah. jump off Prep fucking it. cliff now. But you uh, think after this many years of watching, over seventy years of watching people jumping off cliffs, you would think you'd you would think, get it, right? Yeah. You would think. He, he, he was like, I'm gonna change it up. I'm going to do a like, cool thing with my legs. He overthought it. They didn't stick the, literally did not stick the landing. So he's still alive. And I like this is an early uh, thing that they show you where like when someone is in pain, the rest of the villagers are in pain with them. So yes. they don't have to be alone. And that's like the whole they thing. Share. They share everything. You have to share. So you don't be alone with your pain. Now I'm with Christian. You just got to man the fuck up and smile a little bit. But, you know, the rest of the theme is you got to find people like you who will care about you. Uh, so they bludgeon the old man in so the head. So apparently that's his family that does that. Oh. Okay. I, I, was, yeah. I was wondering that because it would make more sense. Yeah. And then they, yeah. I mean, if anyone had to mercy bludgeon, like. You would have a line out the fucking door around the block trying to bust I in your I would lightly head. tap so he has to stay in pain for a while. Oh, would we all do that? Like Ow. a light tap? And see Ow. It's a game. It's like me. break the ice. Just kill me. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I purposely Break miss and like hit his like hand or something. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Smash up his other leg. So I looked into this. Apparently, this yeah, is like not, a myth. Yeah. And oh no! Yeah, a lot of this, a lot of this is not human sacrifice. Isn't that huge with pagan rich? I mean, there are some depending on what area of the world you're going from. Oh yeah, but South this- America was really into it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, yeah. Apparently, I looked into it like. Uh, so no one really did it, but I think um, some countries that converted to Christianity, what, what Sweden or whatever, didn't convert right away. So people were making up lies about them with these things to make them seem barbaric. That's the gist that Sounds I got. Right. Yeah, like, oh my God, yeah, they jump off a cliff when they're 70 up, oh, I mean, that's the whole thing against witches, too, saying that witches, because they weren't converting to Christianity, and they were going with more herbalism yeah. and And they kept stealing remedies. everyone's brooms, and there was dust everywhere. <laughs> that's why the Swiffer was invented. That's why, because of witches. <laughs> Everyone was just like, oh, I got to clean up all the yep. the grain that fell from cooking. And it's like, oh, where's my... Bro- oh, those damn witches. <laughs> anyway. And, yep, come in, yep, and then the exactly rats give them the bubonic plague. Anyway, <laughs> Simon and Connie were not a fan of this. And are yeah, literally Simon freaking and Connie, out. They, I like the one lady, by the way. She's like looking at them freaking out like, what the fuck is the problem? Like, she literally is just like... <laughs> she's like, oh, you didn't tell them? It's like... It, it, by the way, shame on that guy. He probably should have told them. Like, like he, he probably, probably did on purpose. I'm surprised that they're freaking out more than anyone else. Like, I, I don't know. If we were there, I'm sure. Like, well, Danny, Christian, Danny's still Christian in shock just from was like, yeah, Christian in the deleted scene was just like, oh, well, it's like a different culture and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. No, I think that's in the regular he, Is it in the regular Yeah, it's in the regular cut. Maybe he say I, it twice then? Yeah. Because he does mention it later. Yeah. But holy shit. How <laughs> do you accept that? You literally just watched someone die in front of and you. And then Josh is like taking notes. Yeah, um, way, and also and Mark, the fact- Mark missed, uh, yeah, Mark missed it. He, oh, yeah. He, he took a nap. He took a nap. He missed the whole thing. If anyone should have watched it, it would have been him. But also, yeah. why would you, everyone, so two people who knew Danny was on the trip knew that her family just died. So let's have her watch two people commit suicide after her sister just did a double, like, a, yeah, a suicide Yeah, uh, Josh should have been jo- like, yeah. hey, maybe leave yeah. Danny. Danny, how about you take a nap? Danny, yeah. you're not gonna want, you're so not Josh gonna So Josh is like also this. a huge dickhead. Yeah. Yeah, Josh sucks. Fuck Josh. And then again, it was probably really funny, Josh. <laughs> That's not funny at all. What They're gonna shit you? themselves so much, they have no idea these old fuckers are gonna nosedive. Or, oh, that guy didn't nosedive. He got a little too fancy with it. Should have just, just oh, Hilarious, so fucking hilarious. It's a really funny movie. I did. So for some reason, everyone in the theater, everyone who was left in the theater, just like 
it was so horrifying, but then like everyone just started giggling and it became contagious to the point where like in the scene, everyone just, so it was, like one person started laughing and then the other person was like, I, I can't join in because this is messed up. And then just everyone was cracking up at the scene. It was the weirdest. I'm like, wow. I'm like, I wouldn't get this experience in Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. I thought it was hilarious. Mm. Did you expect yeah. it to be that graphic? I don't know what I was expecting, but I'm happy though about it. Yeah, okay. It was great gore. Like the legs looked awesome. And then yeah. going over when they were bl just killing that head. Uh, Ari really loves to show those damaged heads. He really does. He loves it. He does it's great work. Thing. Great work. Uh, <laughs> um, nothing else was like that crazy. There's yeah. one other scene that was like a little brutal, but nothing was like too insane. So. I don't know about you, but I don't think any of this is good for Danny's mental health. No. <laughs> Wait, going to a different country with a boyfriend who clearly doesn't have any concern for her on her He's very birthday concerned. doing forced to take mushrooms and seeing people commit suicide. He I think said he wouldn't take the mushrooms and then she said it was okay. Because she didn't want to be the soil spoils. What is it? Soil the soiled sport? sport? <laughs> what am I? Spo spoiled spoiled sport. sport. Spoil. Yeah. Spoil sport. What is it? What is with you two? <laughs> Just not knowing phrases or words. I knew it. I, no, I knew it, but I couldn't say. Wait, I what are your words again? <laughs> no, everything I say is right. Oh, You're a liar. Okay. Jessica, okay. to cut to anything of him I, saying wrong. Yes. World War Z. Jessica, I baby wow. Yoda, baby Yoda fat. I will fire you. Don't do that. Do it. He can't fire you. He won't. I he will. Won't. I, I'll, I'll do something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, now we all know Christian's a great guy. He, this part, he goes a little over the line. He does screw his friend over by wanting to do his thesis on the village, and the guy's like, "Hey, but I'm doing midsummer festivals." Altogether, you knew I was doing that. And he's like, well, you're not doing just this community. I want to do this community. And I'm like, that doesn't justify it, you jackass. He's yeah. just being lazy at that point. He is. He is. And, you know, we, we all have flaws. We're all there's a, we're all like Christian in a way. Uh, but he is being a bad friend. As good of a boyfriend as he is, he's definitely not a good friend to this guy. Um, but, you know. Yeah, poor Christian. Poor fucking Christian. I know. I know. Yeah, that that's the part where I'm like, that's mean. Don't do that, bro. Come on. But then again, maybe just the culture of the people really woken something inside of him that he didn't know was there. Maybe this was the calling he needed to finally write his yeah, thesis. Yeah, so Christian sucks. My thesis is right there. And that was a good one. It's about overcoming your fears getting on the slide. It's a very good movie. Very good movie. Have you guys ever been in the movie? Yeah. Yeah. What, what movie were you in? I'm pretty sure I'm in the background of Limitless. What movie were you in? Swamp Zombies 2. Well, we got to move on. <laughs> um, Actually, I did a couple others, too. I have an IMDb. Motherfucker. Sorry, I don't acknowledge movies that the Blue Meanie says is not canon. So, I'm in others. Okay. So, Pelly tries to calm down Danny. Uh, and this is where he's like, yeah, I never told you my family like died in a fire. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Uh yeah, yeah, that line doesn't really hit you as hard until you see the end of the movie. Yeah. They never outright tell you, but but he's like, I never felt lost because the community was so supportive. And I've always had a family, and that's why I want you here. He's trying to bone her. Oh, uh, yeah. He's trying to bone her and also indoctrinate indoctrinate her. He's being super manipulative. But like manipulative. at least he's nice and rem like knows about her birthday. Hey, if there's gonna there's <laughs> one gaslighting manipulative <laughs> dickhead. Then you got another manipulative dickhead. At least the one remembers the birthday. At least what let's go with the caring Do one. Do you feel held by him? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <sighs> and she's just like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then they're like to... holding hands. She's like, you can walk in. <laughs> he's trying to make a move she on you, Danny, you she idiot. Didn't, she didn't pull away. Yeah. Just Maybe like... she wants to fuck him too. Hey. Just what? feel like it could Who's be like that? a nice one night stand in this weird. Um... And it would it would really help Christian because that would prove to him that Danny wasn't worth it because she doesn't care about being faithful. Neither does he. Yeah. No, he hasn't done anything yet. That you uh, know of. <laughs> he hasn't done anything yet. He's thinking about it. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> Danny has a nightmare that all her friends are abandoning her and she sees her dead sister. 
Yeah. Yeah, that was at the rock. Yeah, right? at the rock, and yeah. I think they're high, like moves. Their parents are there too. And her parents yeah. are there. Yeah. Uh, yes, and then Redhead is using witchcraft to tempt Christian. She puts a little rune underneath. It's a love it. rune. It's a love rune. I was trying to figure out if that was actually um, the symbol. So in oh, the I didn't runes, even look it's it up. the um, elder runes that they use. I can never pronounce the actual word. The elder something. Do they um, have the thorn oh. rune from the Curse of Michael Myers? The thorn rune. I forgot keep that going. existed. Isn't it like a tattoo on his hand or something yeah, or wrist? wrist. Uh, anyway, keep going, keep going. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of different um, types of love runes. Like it's when you combine them. A lot of people use the travel and the protection rune together. So it's a lot of different combinations. And I was trying to figure out if their runes in this movie even make sense. Some do. Some do and some don't. And I was like, oh, I think you're just throwing it up there for I, a show. I never finished it, but the last God of War game. Mm -hmm. when you gotta hit the bells to get the right runes but they're timed oh god that fucking sucked I had no problem with it Duh, I had no problem with I actually it. I just started playing that uh, I think it's the second one I just started playing uh, uh, I'm playing the first PS4 one which is the fourth one the God of War. I never finished I was streaming and I just haven't got around to finish it's really it. really good it's good it's good I enjoyed it um, it took way too long to start but anyway there's runes in that so seeing the runes in this Reminded me of Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, and then it reminded me of how annoying it was hitting those fucking bells. You God damn it. The... Yeah, it's a, I taped it off the TV, and then I made a custom cover, because that's what I did when I was 11. Oh. Because girls didn't talk to me. Let's keep going. I wonder um, why. Hmm. Uh, Who would have predicted oh. the future? They still don't. So they cremate uh, the two old fuckers. Uh, and they put their ashes in a tree, a dead tree that just sits in the middle of a field. This is important for an upcoming scene. Yeah. Redhead girl is Pelly's sister? I don't think. Or is that just a comment? I think it's yeah. just, yeah. I don't think it's his actual sister. No. I didn't think it's their actual sister. Because me, I'm going to jump for a second, whatever. But um, remember the other sister, like literally, because he says sister when they first arrive at the mm -hmm. commune. Um Remember that sister starts talking to Danny saying, like, you You're are the family sister. now. Yeah. Uh, so okay. I think everybody's just because she family. started. Yeah, they all start calling her sister at towards the end. Yeah. No, that's weird. It's weird. It's a, it's a community. Yeah. It's a small community where they're all family. It's a and call. they also all fuck each other. <laughs> this is a this is a small store. I'm gonna call you guys sister. Don't you dare. <laughs> you already <laughs> called me wife. I don't want to be related to you. That was an accident. Ew. <laughs> On Twitter. I went, I went to do WTF, my phone autocorrected to wife. And, and then he still posted it. And I'm I like, what is check. wrong with you? I didn't check. I didn't Ew. Check. I like uh, the gift that Ian posted. He was just like. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm the only one that can call you wifey. So calm the fuck down. Over well, there. that tweet doesn't even exist anymore because all my tweets auto delete. Oh auto God. delete your tweets. Mark, he pees on the tree He's and this upsets a guy. Oh, my very, God. Very the much. And he still doesn't get it though, even when they're like, oh, that's like, oh, a tree. Oh, dude, that was an important tree. It's a dead tree. But he's also, still a dick about it. I don't know why the like, one, go use the bathroom. I don't know why the one guy is the only one upset over it. And they they, they don't mean, cry all, with him. They're all like pissed off, whatever, but like, what was it? Ulf, they, or whatever his name is. Yeah. He was, yeah. yeah. He's he was like, about get your him. dick away from me. Yeah. He's pissing all my ancestors. Yes. And he's like, Woo. yeah, that's where we put all our dead into the dead tree in the middle of the field. It's like, you got to find a safer place. Put a velvet rope around that, buddy. Put no. a sign. Don't pee on this tree. Do not touch the tree of death. <sighs> yeah. I have a goddamn yeah. velvet rope in front of my office. These guys can't put a fucking sign up that says do not touch the tree of death. Anyway. My, dad, my dad bought me a velvet rope like stand. And I had nowhere to put it, so I just put it in front of my office. And sometimes I, I clip it because I don't want people in. I um, walk over. Even it. though, like, Kieran shares the office with you, is Kieran not allowed in? No. <laughs> uh, let me see here. <gasps> so, yeah, the British couple are leaving, but the boyfriend mysteriously. Yes. What was it? The, they took the truck, but only, yeah. like, two people can fit in there, and obviously She's one like, person has to drive it. Lap. And he's like, I suggested that, but he said no. But, yeah, oh, no, he, he said they, they follow the uh, traffic laws. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. No other laws. Uh, Yeah, so she's Maybe very, very upset. Maybe murder's not against the law there. Huh? Maybe like it sacrificial. <laughs> sacrificial? Religion can't fuck with religion, right? Um, yeah, so 
uh, Danny is for some reason invested in this. Seems like a whole lot of not my problem. I was there. I was like, oh, my boyfriend left without me. I'm like, yeah, okay. You know, there's so much fucked up shit happening. You would think like, oh, someone that was engaged, like that's a little odd. Don't care. Uh, you know who else doesn't care? This is why he's gonna die in something, and we're gonna be the only ones alive. You know who else doesn't care? There's a lot of reasons. Christian, because Danny's like Christian. Those two people, I don't even think you do. Uh, they're gone, and the one left without the other. He's like, wow, that's that's something. Anyway, uh, this do you guys part, do incest? Is there ever an issue here with incest? <laughs> that part though felt a little forced to me that was the only part that actually pulled me out yeah. because it was so in your face of what was happening yeah it was just straight up like okay well what do you think of incest and too much too much given to the audience yeah i didn't like well they, they they do say that they honor the incest taboo and they like bring other people in i guess mm -hmm. yeah uh, you find out that they make exceptions they in do. one case but but, the, but they, they legit say that's why we bring in outsiders and you're like there aren't that many outsiders. There's mm. very specific outsiders. You're you just just spoiled. Yeah. And cousins are allowed on a case by case basis. Oh yeah, there's that. Because remember, it's only a biological problem if it's immediate family. Second cousins don't count, right? But even first cousins, unless you, you can't do cousins for generations. Mm. But apparently, all the inbreeding stuff. I took an anthropology class, and this was like a subject. Oh, we was had a it whole, really? Yeah, we had a whole class on it. So apparently, the whole inbreeding problem only happens mother, son, father, daughter, brother, sister. So I could totally go fuck my cousin. What are you from Alabama? Yeah, fuck the cousin me. thing is more of a social <laughs> taboo. It's just you can't do it. Like you can't do it for generations because then you get, then it does get fucked gotcha. up. Gotcha. All right, great to know. But. Apparently, it's uh, only the I, 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 again. It was an anthropology class. It somehow it came up. I don't know why, and I remembered it. So there That's you go. Odd, I don't oh. want to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why they probably honor the incest thing, but they they make exceptions for cousins and only cousins once in a while because it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, well, uh, it's still fucking weird. The characters all start to get involved more in the community. Danny is making meat pies, and you hear a scream. Yeah, what's the screen? That's Connie. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. I didn't even notice that. Yep. They all hear the scream. Yeah. What's their excuse for hearing the scream? The, so I, the community doesn't react to it. Only they do. Oh. So, yeah. It's just, just kind of like, like, wait, what? What the fuck? I missed that. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that's you what You missed a lot in this movie, it seems like. Yeah, that's, I was that's so Connie for, screaming. I was so worried for Christian. Uh -huh. um, Josh is learning about the runes, and apparently... They allow in they force inbreeding to produce a kid who's deformed because the their Oracle. mind, yeah, their mind will not be clouded and they yes. can write iterations of their. But runes. he doesn't. He paints, and the elders they interpret. Oh, what the, the Ruby is. Roden or whatever it's called. I forget what it's called. Ruby, Ruby Rose. <laughs> Batwoman. <laughs> it's no. It's I, oh, I forget. Name. It's the dude's name or whatever. But like Ruby the, Rod. The, the fifth Ruby element? Rod. No, I forget. The Ruby Rod, and I think it's called or something like that. <laughs> Ruby yeah, Rod. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I don't remember that part. Yeah, uh, it's like the books that he like paints and stuff like that. Can Chris Tucker just wander into other movies like 30 <laughs> minutes before they're done? Can he wander into this? Like, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, and you're not allowed to take pictures of their magical book. Well, you're not supposed to take mm. pictures at all. And what's his face even says like, oh, can I take pictures? And they say be discreet about it. So why would you even fucking ask? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the grossest scene in the movie. Christian is sitting there about to eat a meat pie and his oh glass. Oh my God. His, this is disgusting. His glass of tea is a little redder than everyone else's. And I don't even know what the fuck they're talking about it's in this totally, scene. Strawberry yeah. lemonade. I, I literally was in the theater just going like, bleh, 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 bleh. Do I didn't I know was, what that is because we saw a whole tapestry. No, yeah, of, and I was hoping that wouldn't come true. I was hoping that was just a weird thing. Was like, uh, I looked at that and I've seen some like disturbing shit, and I was like, oh shit. Oh, and then oh, shit. Yeah. Uh -uh. And then he eats it. I'll do that kind of love spell. in there, and it's like, oh, he doesn't have a beard. He can't and he's even not see. even like making a big deal about it like Mark is and Christian's like trying to act all embarrassed uh, and stuff whatever hair. and it's just like bro like that is a pubic hair uh. like any type of hair in my food like any like 
But why does he not realize that his drink is a different color than everyone else's? He's not paying attention. He's so and immersed he, in the culture. And you don't culture. taste that? It doesn't taste a little bit more um the bloodier side? He doesn't know how it's supposed to taste. He doesn't want to offend them. They were already drinking. It looked like the same stuff. From the he wasn't before. looking at their glasses. He should. He should be more observant. A little more self, like self aware of everything going on after. And honestly, fucking... and honestly, redhead should have put some yellow food dye in there to mask it because it was pretty. You know, you know. I would have been like, "Hey, I know you're you're putting the period juice in there." Oh my god! Stop period it. juice. Stop talking. Markets pulled away by a girl clearly to die. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she's like, come, I'll show you. And he's yeah. like, oh, she's okay. gonna show me. Yeah, and Josh just couldn't leave the special book alone. He's gotta go there and take pictures of it. And then Leatherface shows up. <laughs> it's been showing up a lot lately. Uh yeah, some yeah. guys wearing Mark's face, face and jacket and his dicks out. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. They, they didn't explain that at all. Yeah, that wasn't too that explained. Was like, I think that was weird. That was just so remember, out of it. Remember the kids earlier uh, when they were skinning sitting there, the fool? Yeah, yeah. Were, the kids were playing <gasps> skin the fool. Yeah. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Mind blown. Mind blown. That's what it is. So, I think Pele is the one who kills Josh. Apparently, there's a way, like, if you, like, pause at a certain point, you could see that he's there. Or maybe he's in the extended cut. By the way, let's talk about the extended cut. Yes, did we mention please. it yet? No, we have not. I did not watch the extended cut. You can only order the extended 4K Blu-ray from A24's website. I did not know that. I did order it. It did not come in on time. I really but it is like it. beautiful packaging yeah. and whatnot. And there's 30 extra minutes in it. Mm -hmm. So, when Have it you seen any deleted scene? No. Oh. So when it comes... Uh, maybe me and you will watch it and we'll sure. do like a quick video on it. Just what, I what the minor. Watch it. Am I invited? We'll see. That we'll see what's going better. on that week. All right. I don't know if you want to drive all the way down to be like, hey, here's what happened in the 30 extra minutes. Yeah. Oh my God. Anyway. <laughs> <sighs> I will drive two hours to watch 30 minutes. So it did not come in on time. I'm sorry. Blame A24 for making it I'm super. Blaming you. I blame Tony. It's weird. They. That's a good racket they got going on there. Oh my God, there's a, was that a gnat or a piece of dust? I think it was a piece of dust. I think I'm over exaggerating. <laughs> this movie's got me so on edge. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> you sure you never done drugs? No, nah, I don't do drugs. Ah. Uh, every lollipop I've ever had at a convention was a normal one. <laughs> so let me see here. Uh, Josh is dead and he's moaning a lot. No, I think... Was that him? No, yeah. that wasn't him. No, that was him going... Ugh! That was like his death moan. Yeah? yeah I'm pretty sure that was his no, death moan. No, it wasn't. That yeah. was... I thought it was the dude wearing the mark yeah. face. Why would that guy be doing that? Why not? Oh, I thought it was him just going like... Ugh! No, I don't think so. I'd probably moan a lot if I got hit in the head with a fucking sledgehammer. Well, his head was like busted open, and I'm yeah, pretty sure he was dead. at that point because he was just... Twitching. I'd be like... Bah! <laughs> bah! Anyway. No, I'm pretty sure it was the dude wearing Mark's face. That's what I thought. They come up with an excuse that the book was stolen, which clearly wasn't, but that's to explain why Mark and Josh are gone. And then Christian yes. just throws Josh under the bus. He's just like, you know, yeah. I apologize. Yeah, your like, favorite person. We don't associate with him as friends. Well, put yourself in Christian's shoes. You know Josh is upset. You know he'll take that book for himself uh, to, to outdo him on the thesis. And granted, Christian brought it upon himself by being mean in the first place but if he lived long enough to go back home he could have went to confession and got absolved of those sins anyway uh but yeah he totally throws josh under the bus he's like yeah they did it they fuck him fuck him yeah uh danny trips balls and enters a competition mm -hmm. she doesn't know what the competition is are you guys gonna run around and dance now no Thank God. <laughs> um, it looked like just like a normal tea, though, that they made. Uh oh. Was, was, I love when the girl goes, uh oh. And like grass is growing out of It's definitely feet. drug tea. <laughs> it was. Yeah, I don't like this community. I do. No. I actually, this entire movie, I was like, how do I join? Shit, don't talk about drugs too much. We got fucking hit <laughs> on the Blair Witch episode and I had to re edit the whole episode last minute. Can we have another name for. Um, just say mushroom. Yeah, mushroom's a thing. 
Yeah, I guess that's fine. It is. Anyway. But it, it didn't look like mushroom tea, though. That's, yeah, I'm not there, sure what it was. That was not mushroom tea. I know that wasn't. That looked like um like the herb um conundulum? Conundulum? I have no idea. C A N D U L L M I think. And it's it's like yellow flower, it's really it has a lot of vitamins and Yeah. I'm starting while, to be a mini herbalist. While Danny is dancing. I want to do this dance competition yes. so bad. I want to join it. They look like Christ they're having so much fun. Christian is in a tiny house. Unlike the tiny house I did not get. Uh, it's too expensive, Tony. Get over it. And uh, I'm looking at apartments that are the same price. Um, How much was the tiny house? Don't worry about it. Uh, he's too looking much. at a picture oh. of a bear on fire. It's literally sat right in front of it. Yeah. This movie really loves to just telegraph things. Yeah. Uh, and he meets with the older elder girl. Mm -hmm. And she's like, hey, redhead, uh, she's allowed to have sex now. She wants you to pop a bun in her oven. And he's like, uh, what? Yeah, I think I ate one of her pubes. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he What did she say? And she's like, that's probably, that's probably right. <laughs> yes, it's probably accurate. I think I ate one of her pubic hairs. Sounds probably right. And he's just like walks out like, what the fuck? Yes. And uh, yeah, he's not really sure what to do with that, but he's an ideal astrological match. This community is full of bullshit. Those idiots. I <laughs> love this community. I mean, this whole thing is a bunch of pageantry. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. So then Christian goes to see Danny perform at the competition. He turns down. I don't even think he was really there just to watch her. I think he was just there to watch. He something. turns down the drugs, but he gets peer pressured into taking those drugs. No, he didn't. He eventually just said, fuck it. Mm, no, he, he was, was kind of persuaded. Oh, he was, he's like, you know, to open yourself up a little bit. He was peer tense. pressured. He and then he was pressured. like, and he looked over. He didn't have to. He didn't have to. He did it. He said, fuck it. Danny didn't shot. have to take the shrooms in the beginning of the thing. And you were all like, she got manipulated into yeah, it. Yeah, by her boyfriend. Oh, it's only bad when a boyfriend does it? Yeah, someone that's supposed to love you for the past four years. But some stranger comes up and offers you a drink. I don't know. I was told as a female, don't accept drinks from strangers. Or lollipops, unless they're normal. <laughs> uh, Danny wins. She's the queen. And the village does spirits. Oh, those fucking. Yeah, that was a little much. I didn't like that. Okay, jazz hands. I'm sorry, if, if clapping scares you, you've got other problems. <laughs> so she's still tripping balls. I like the way that you can see the flowers like moving too. Yes, that's yeah. a cool thing. So the hills are literally alive with the sound of music, I guess. <laughs> they're, they're like pulsating and breathing. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. the one flower breathes along with her. She sees her mom in the crowd for a it's second. It's her whole family. Yeah, she sees yeah, the it's, whole it's, family. It's the dad that walks by, then it's the mom where it really focuses on the mom, the mom. and yeah. then the sister walks by too. Yes, and when they have her carrying her, you see her sister's face with the hose yep. in the tree line. Yes, you do. That was cool. Uh, and the whole time, Christian's like, what the fuck's going on? Oh my God, I don't know what's going on. He's uh, bugging. I mean, he ate, bugging. he ate a pube. That'd be. Could you imagine getting a pube in your no, mouth? No, no, thank you. Fucking No, gross. thank you. We cannot talk about that part again. Ew. I'm good. Not me, never. Um, let me see here. You're really gonna sound like you normally eat pubes. <laughs> it's flossing. Oh. oh my god. Oh, how long are those pubes? <laughs> oh, <I'm>... <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> uh. I, I got a funny story. I can't tell. Um, I don't want to know. <laughs> I want to know, and I don't want to know. No. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so I have here Christian is being extra drug and manipulated by these evil people, and the he red is. has that the redhead that is the most evil. Yeah, it happens. Uh, by the way, they. Why does that always gotta be redhead? I don't know. Always gotta be a fucking redhead. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> we gotta talk more about redheads later in another episode. I know. Redheads. More and... evil redheads. <laughs> We have already a bad reputation. Are you okay with Chucky getting replaced with a black person? <laughs> by the way, we so that came up in Queen of the Damned. Is know, that I is that as a re, as a member of the redheaded uh, society? <laughs> would, would that be too far? Would that be crossing? I'm okay with guys, redheaded guys, because no one likes redheaded guys. Mm. You know, so it's you're the redheaded very, girl. Sorry, Ian. <laughs> he's not like ginger, ginger. He's ginger. No, he's very ginger. I guess he's, he's ginger. ginger. Anyway, he's not like Ronald McDonald ginger. He's not Chucky ginger. <laughs> Oh, I love when they try to shove the fish in her mouth. The herring. That was 
funny. You have to try. <laughs> Good, try. <laughs> Good try. Good <laughs> try. And they're like, all right, the May Queen has to go bless our know, props. 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 Yeah. <laughs> the fucking them with the wagon like this. <laughs> like a bentha. <laughs> Stupid. Um, yeah, let's see here. Uh, oh, I like how also the, the flowers and the vines on the odd Yeah, on the, her yeah. chair, they're moving too. I was like, I want that chair. I want to control plants. I loved that. Well, she's not really controlling yeah, plants. Yeah, I know. Tripping but balls. <laughs> I want to trip balls like that. So Christian is led to the sex shack to breed. Woo! Uh, and he is drugged, therefore he cannot consent. Yeah, they gave him more drugs. Yeah. yeah. Really did. Talk about fucking pressure, though. Everyone's standing around him telling him to finish? Like, let's yeah. go. The lady's pushing on him. Yeah, pie. literally. The lady, the lady, lady pushing the pie. That made pushing me uncomfortable. On him. And then the one girl's like singing to him. And yeah. I guess yeah. he like looks up at her, like, what the hell? But he's still pumping. And I'm just yeah, like, what and the, the fuck? Girl, like, the well, look, he's a, he's a guest. All right. They they asked him to do something. He didn't want to be mean. We would all do the same thing. But like the redhead's not even like enjoying herself either. She's like just fucking finish already. No. Yeah. And, and the whole time the handicapped kids. Yeah, I was watching. gonna say the, that was creepy. The Oracle's just in the background watching. watching. Yeah, That's creepy. I don't like that. A little creepy. They're like yeah, and I also didn't like him pushing their butt. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of. Uh, how do you see. stay hard with that kind of stuff? I like think you it's... have like whiskey dick. Like how do you not? So remember when they gave him the drug to like huff in whatever it says for your vitality? I think that like helped. Oh, him it's like a kind of like up. a Viagra. I think so. Just oh, in case, because like, they wanted him to get hard. Because yeah. Oh, so yeah, Danny. Danny decides to sneak a peek. Yeah, when she gets back. Yeah, Ooh, yeah no. Yeah, should not have done no. that. She doesn't like that, and she cries, and all the women cry with her. So it's kind of fucked this entire scene, though, whatever, because like, remember, she's like being ignored by everybody. She doesn't yeah. have a family anymore. She doesn't have a support group. But now she but does. Now she does. Yeah. But it's in a very weird way. Yeah. yeah. You got to find people who will accept you. And maybe you'll find that one day. Probably not. Yeah, but one day. Know, yeah. Well, you could trick a guy, but like a group of people. Um, <laughs> Maybe one day the Hack the Movies fans will accept you. Anyway, happy Hack birthday. The beauty uh, <laughs> so, uh, the actor playing Christian, uh, he. Full dong. Full dong. He apparently said <laughs> yeah. uh, he oh felt in God. horror movies, women are often naked to show like vulnerability because he was originally going to wear a robe. And he's like, I think men should do it. So That's he decided awesome. to go full dong. That's a whole aspect to a lot of 80s slashers. Yeah. So that's actually a really nice call for a guy to be able to be that vulnerable because you can tell mm -hmm. too because he walks out and all of a sudden now he's covering himself. Yeah. I actually really liked that. And then he finds like one of the people's legs in the sand and the it's dirt. It's Josh's leg. Josh's leg. Oh, it looks like he has legs later on, but they could be fake. No, no, no. So they buried him under there. Oh, and then they unburied? And his just, leg was just sticking up and then they put the rune on him, on his foot. Oh. Yeah, they did put the rune on the foot. Yeah. So they bury them and then dig him back up? Yeah, I mean, look at what happened with Connie too? Yeah, they take they, her out they of her the down. river. Oh, yeah. So they also find uh, what's his name, Simon. He's Simon, a blood eagle. Blood eagle, and his <gasps> lungs were still moving. Yeah. Well, they weren't like. I think that was the drugs pulsating. No, he was still breathing. You could hear the. <sighs> I don't know if that can happen. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't get that part. They probably yeah. just. He's probably drugged like to death or whatever. I don't, but like, he didn't even have, like no, he was and shit. Okay, I thought he was dead. I'm pretty sure that's the drugs pulsating. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was him still breathing. Did know. you see? There was a, someone tweeted at me saying that I should do that to you one of these days. The blood eagle. <laughs> you saw that. And Which, I was like, I'm what down. is that? <laughs> You're down. Which they mentioned in the Hannibal Lecter break, books. Break open his yeah, ribs. But though. I didn't. Yeah. That, like through yeah. the back. So yeah, that's why I didn't annoying. know what it was until I saw that tweet. And then I looked it up and I was like, damn, they got more hate for Tony than I do. Yeah. Hannibal but also, does it's never been. Apparently, it's it was always a. Um, like a legend or something. Apparently there's no proof that it was actually ever done. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, they do it in the Hannibal Lecter books. It didn't make it into the movies, but it did make it into the TV show. Mm -hmm. I think he sets people up like a blood eagle. Uh, that is speaking that of is Hanna something. Speaking of Hannibal and uh, good Batman movies, uh, what are your thoughts on Gary Oldman? You like him? Yeah. Yeah, Trisha's still the odd no. one out. Yeah. Uh, anyway, they crippled Christian, which I thought was mean. They're like, they, you can't talk or move. Yeah, cripple, crippled him, like, real bad. Yes. 
I uh, did like the whole transition of them showing his eyes being closed yeah. and then the reopening, like that opening them cool. up again. They have yeah. good transitions in this movie. Uh, so nine people are being selected to be sacrificed. I can, I think some volunteer. Two. Two, two volunteer. And it's the, the cuck. Mm-hmm. And who's the other Some one? Some other guy. Yeah. Was it the guy who got mad about the tree? I don't think I couldn't so. tell. Uh, then the deformed kid, Christian. Deformed? Kid. No, he didn't get sacrificed. No, I thought they put him in the thing. No. no. Oh, I thought they put no. him in no. no. He was it just was there? The two, yeah, he was just chilling. It was the two that And that jumped. cloud thing. Oh, I thought he was in the thing at nope. the end. I no, he was else. just like, I'm over here being the oracle. Yeah. yeah. And then the other ones he were already killed. There, but he wasn't being sacrificed. And then they have like a little ball thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like a little yeah, ball so thing. It's, it's the f- like the, the lotto. <laughs> Torbjorn. <laughs> yeah, it was four, four, and then one that the queen. So it was the four outside visitors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, then it was the two people that sacrificed earlier, two volunteers, and then a queen's choice. Oh, uh, she picked Christian? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Christian wouldn't have done that to her. Uh, they shove Christian into the bear. So if you're wondering why the I bear was there. so bad for the bear. And Johanna forced me to buy this outfit. Mm-hmm. She's like, we're doing Midsummer for my birthday. You're going to have to dress like a bear. And I'm like, oh. I specifically sent him the link for that. So I'm wearing a woman's bear onesie. <laughs> you said it's comfy. It is. It is yeah. really comfy, actually. See, I got you. <laughs> very, very comfy. What does the tag say? You're a furry? It's called funsies. With oh. Z's. Yeah, so they shove them to a bear, uh, and they- They're telling the kids how to take out the intestines. Oh, yeah. Oh, and Danny is, like, covered in flowers now. (gasps) Yeah. Did you notice the girl who took Mark away was, like, kind of battered on her face? No. She has, like, a cut on her nose or whatever, so, like, I don't know if Mark was trying to, like, bite her. Oh. I don't know what was going on with that. This never really explained. One of the girls is crying at the end. It's her. Oh, it's her. It's her. Okay. Yeah. Why is she crying? I don't know. Mm. I really. And then she has like the like the horn like on her dress and stuff or whatever. Like I don't I don't I don't know what's going on with Mm. that. Apparently, the deleted scenes I've saw reviews of it it says how much of a better movie it makes it. Really? Yeah. Mm. Well, I'll find out when A twenty four ships it. Is that so? It's a three over three hour movie then with the director's cut. 30 extra minutes. I forget how long it is. Like it's two hours. What, like two and a half hours. Yeah, it's probably yeah. like a yeah. three hour movie. Whew. Whew. Uh, it was very long. Enjoyable though. Doesn't feel long. It doesn't. It, it doesn't, doesn't feel long. It keeps moving. It, it does. It keeps moving. Um, yeah, I love when they shove everyone into the, the building. They give the guy something for pain. It's like sap from the tree or whatever. Yeah, you like, or something you like tree? that. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, it's for the pain. But then the other one doesn't was like, work. this is for the fear. Yeah. The pain doesn't work. Uh, no. Yeah, so they light everyone on fire. The one guy's screaming, and then they all scream. Poor Christian can't scream. Christian can't even scream. That's probably you can hear him go. You can hear him go like yeah. though, but uh, I don't know. I love see. that. There he is. I hate you so much. There he is. I, like I, awesome. I hate that it looks like a little kid. That's disturbing. <laughs> it's super adorable. Yeah. So yeah, everyone's on fire. Danny's crying. But everyone's crying with her, and she's like, "You know what? I finally well, found." Well, they're they're not crying well, with yeah. her; they're yelling because the people were yeah. yelling inside yeah. the thing. But Danny's crying for her own reason. Then she starts, yeah. Then she starts like cr- but sobbing. Then she's like, "I'm not alone here. I'm wearing a lot of flowers that Ariana Grande will never wear because she <laughs> lost out in the auction." She did. Uh, yeah, and then she's just like, she, she smiles at the end. Yep. It's fucking hilarious. It's terrifying. I it's a good it. movie. It's a great movie. It's a good, God, good movie. I mean, the ending's sad because Christian deserved better. We can all agree. Uh, he did not deserve to be killed or... <sighs> can I say... Whatever. Bleep it, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. R word. <laughs> well, um, we don't know which one that is. He doesn't deserve to be taken advantage of. There you go. But he was a gaslighting piece of shit and a very bad friend and a very bad girlfriend or girlfriend boyfriend gaslighting is bad yes it is that's what i've learned yes i've never personally done it Mm. i don't think i'd be good at it i've had it done to me yeah same you think i'd be good at it you think i could pull it off i don't think i can pull it off tony you can't pull anything off yeah i don't think i could pull it off the onesie works though i'll give you that Mm -mm. Anyway, so uh, it's disturbingly it's adorable. Cute. I like it. His cheeks. It's like, oh. I want to go that far. I don't want to touch him. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Midsummer. 
Happy birthday, Johanna. Yay! Thank you. Happy birthday, Johanna. <laughs> how, many, how many eggs are we up to now? Ooh. I brought it back just for the special occasion. <laughs> Y'all get the bludgeoning hammer. What are you doing? There's no weapons here. I need a weapon. We got a weapon closet. No! What are you We got a weapon closet. <laughs> what are you doing? No, done. Just leave Jessica alone in the weapon closet. Jessica, help pick a weapon for us. Oh, thanks, Jessica. Oh, no! All of them. You would think you would get one and make them suffer a little bit more. No! Really? Why did you choose a sharp knife? <laughs> or a machete? I got metal wallet. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh God! Just light him on fire. Yeah, you know what? Let's go. <laughs> what? No, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Patreon. What Let's the go. fuck? I have so many things I want to talk about. I'm like gonna get off track here. This is the case of a game that was far more popular in Japan than it was in the United States. They never <laughs> went to Mordor, what are you talking about? <laughs> this is kind of weird. <laughs> But there's real detail. There's like wiring underneath. You know, they're, they're one out. and done. That's yeah. it. Sold yeah. out. So they're super hard to come by. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him, guys. Bring it back. Here oh, we go no, again. No, Round no, two. No. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.